Hey, we're oh. here. Like immediately. You were yeah, well, people were waiting, you know. Sure. I know, that's the way it goes. Okay. Happy Friday, folks. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see if I can. Something's going weird with the chat here. What's going on? Oh, it's just up at the top. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, there I is. Indeed. We're just fashionably late, you know. That's what we do. We'd be fashionably late. I mean, five o'clock is just a suggestion. It's a approximate time. Ish. Yeah. Yeah, it's an ish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're running errands and getting fit, and then uh, like had to, I don't know, become, yeah, we're get camera a lot ready. Of stuff. Yeah, you gotta get camera ready. Trying to convince Scraggles to go outside. She does she not want not. to. It it's, is disgusting today. It's raining and gross. What'd you miss? Nothing. We, Nothing. Just started. Yeah, literally just got here. So. So that is cool. So, uh, yeah, welcome back to Friday in the House. Uh, it's been a little while, it's huh? It's been a, yeah, a while. When's the last time we did one from the house? Gotta be weeks. Weeks and weeks. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember either. Like, probably... Oh, um, well, it was... Feels like a month ago. It was Knoxville, then Philly, then... Uh, what was before Philly? Maybe the one no. before... It was, the, it was the one right before Philly, and we're like... Talking about Penn Show stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. So it was a good yeah. three weeks ago, anyway. Rainy yeah. and gross here, there, too. Yeah. They were actually saying snow. What? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I was getting an oil change, and they were like, watch out for snowflakes. It's not going to be yeah. anything. It's 40 degrees outside. But apparently, it's been yeah. uh, surprise snowing over a good portion of the, uh, the area. So, yeah. yuck. Yeah. I'm not into that. Well, I don't know. Snow that goes away immediately, I guess I'm okay Oh, with that. yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, I wonder where my other one is. My you mentioned it. You never day. saw. Yeah, I don't know where the other that's one right. is. It. I know I took it to school the other day, so... Oh, did you? Yeah. Thoughts? So, this is the... Uh, where is it? I forgot how my buttons work. 
This is the new pre-fonte. Yeah, huh? That's annoying. What Pause is? It. Oh, the live stream? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so this is the uh, the new Platinum Pre-Fonte. Comes in this package right there. Uh, it was part of the uh, the unboxing that we posted. Yeah. Was that only yesterday? Yeah, it was only yesterday. I tell you, this has been a we week. We filmed the night before, so. It's true. You know. um, so this is the Pre-Fonte. It is definitely a little more uh, like sturdier. Classier. A little classier than the preppy, yeah. I think. A little different than the uh, uh, plaisir. I cannot remember well, the name can't. of that thing. I don't know what the deal is. Um, same nib and section and stuff. I think it works pretty well. I mean, you know. Have you inked the other one up or just that one? No, just this one. Is that the fine or the medium? That's the medium. Okay. This is an M right there. I didn't look at that. The... That seems helpful to now that you now that you mention it. <laughs> yep. Uh, good evening, gluten. Uh, oh. Gluten. <laughs> gluten abend. Ah, uh, that gluten. Now oh, I love it. Oh uh, yeah, delicious gluten. Hey, what's up, Patrick? And ink guy, is it red or orange? Look like more orange in the other video. It is not orange at all. It's called I what do they mean, call it? Vermilion orange. I mean, there's. It's more on the orange side of no, red. This is this is red. So like, this is orange, and then this is red. I, mean, I guess it's somewhere in between. It's but... in between. So they're they're not wrong, I but guess. it's definitely on the red. Yeah. It's orangey red. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's an orangey red. Yeah. I don't know. When you don't have it next to a red thing, to me it just looks red. Ow. Cat put its claws in my leg. Yeah. So it really just kind of feels it. It seems red to me. I don't know. But I guess so we can you, put it next to a red. Do you regret getting it? No, of course okay. not. I don't care about that. It's fine. Well, there are a bunch of other colors. There's. There's that teal one which you got. There's a blue blue, like a regular blue. An emerald. I consider getting the emerald for you. There are cats everywhere, everywhere. right now. <laughs> they think that it's feeding time. Like it's dreary feed it's us. It's not feeding time. You are an hour early at the yep. at the earliest. Yep. Uh, hey Duke Car, what's up? Clears everything up? Yeah, sorry, I don't know what to tell you. To me it just looks straight up red. I, uh, ah Mr. Nose! Out! Out? Everybody out. Me? No, you can okay. stay unless you claw the crap out of me. Nope, I, I don't have claw. <sighs> My back. Oh. Yeah, I hit in the leg. Mm. Yeah, he slid down my back with his claws. It was great. It was real good. Loving it. So, <laughs> fun with cats. Yeah. Scraggles, get them. Yeah, good job. So, uh, yeah. This one, uh, I think we can agree, is blue. Yeah, it's like a tealy blue. Yeah. Healy blue, you think, huh? I think so. I don't know, it's just blue to me. Well, with the brighter light, yeah. It's. Yeah. Uh, I haven't opened this one yet, but. Which one do you like yeah. more? Well, I don't know. I mean, I've only opened one. Oh, you mean like which color? Yeah. I don't know. They're both perfectly good colors. Mm -hmm. I like red and blue together. Like ten bucks. Yeah, ten bucks seems like a good price. Uh, do you trim their claws? Uh, like certain. I mean, sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. But usually we don't have to. They're just going nuts right now. I don't know what their yeah. deal is. We may, we may just have to go feed them here in the middle just to yeah. get them out of our hair. Uh, but yeah, uh, we clean, trim their claws and they get annoying. But usually Mr. Nose isn't just running all over the place and clawing things. I don't know. Clipsy, the one who doesn't claw at things, she claws the least. Yeah. She loves her claws getting clipped. Yeah. So, of course, she doesn't really need it, but we right. can do hers. The other yeah. ones, they don't like it. They don't hate it. So, this is the... Uh, this is the gold spot page. This is where we bought these things. So this is the vermilion red, or vermilion orange. Vermilion red wouldn't make any sense. Um, and then this one is the like the regular red, I guess. The regular red is a much darker, much dar yeah, sort of situation. But I don't know for ten dollar pen. The other one, the What's graphite that? blue, I considered, mm, and the emerald. Yeah. No, that actually looks... No, nope, that's the wrong thing. It is blue, but it's super... There we go. Yeah, it's super dark. I don't know. I kind of like this one. Seems good to me. Okay. So. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, we got some pre -fonte. It's the only pen that we uh, opened up the other day that I've actually used. I mean, it was only yesterday. Yeah, I forgot that, that you had Don't everything. you even think about it, Nose. Oh, he's thinking about it. Goodness. Oh, he's nosing around. Um, yeah, we haven't opened up this Kakuno yet. I mean, that's not... So, I got that because somebody um, showed a picture of the rainbow of colors that they had of the Kakunos, and I didn't realize there were that many colors, mm -hmm. and I didn't have one, and I know they're super cheap, and it's like, I want a colorful pen. 
that's cheap, but I don't have one, so throw it in there. Yeah. And I was giving him a little crap today because um, when he put, did the unboxing, if you haven't watched the unboxing, this probably, or if you have, this is, you know, something. But anyway, he had a converter. Or I had a bunch of cartridges that were pilots, and he goes, why is there a bunch of pilot cartridges in here? Well, there's two reasons. One is the week before I showed that I got that vintage pilot. It didn't have a converter in there, so I needed some cartridges for that. But also, the next thing he pulled out was Kakuno, also, which doesn't have a converter in there. So I needed some cartridges for it. And I don't know how many colors were in there. There aren't too many regular pilot in the regular pilot line. I mean... Like six or something? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten of them in here. But some are duplicate colors. Oh. So there's like two blacks, two blues, oh. and things like there's that. There's some purple and red and green, and there's some brown in here, maybe? A sepia, yeah. So, yeah. cool. That's a nice little pack. Nice, you know, normal colors. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the color, because we look weird. I think we just look weird. Oh. Well, that's entirely possible, I guess, but... You're you're really coming in hot there. I know. That's for sure. I know, and I don't know why exactly. They of course updated this thing again, and now it looks all different on the screen here, and my cameras are different. So. Yay. Yeah, I love that. Love it. You'd think I would like check that beforehand, but I ain't got time for that. It's Friday. Perfect. Let's do it this way. This seems yeah. like the best. Best version. No, oh, watch out. Nose. You need to chill out, bud. You need to chill out. Chill. All right. Um, so we don't have a whole lot planned today. We actually, that was a little better. I don't know, man. I don't know. Whatever. This is just what we look like today. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so we don't have a whole lot to plan today. I was going to look through some retros. Uh, I know when I posted that... Um, that unboxing, some people commented that they didn't really know the news about retro. Really? Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, if you're not, like, I don't know, paying attention to the same Twitter feeds or whatever, you're not going to see it, but yeah. uh, Retro posted... Let's see if I can actually find it. Yeah, it was on their blog. Um, blog. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, so, this is the... This is the letter they posted. 30 years ago, I walked into a store, they started this thing. Uh, new decade, time for something new for a handful of Retro 51 team, retirement. Uh, so they're going to be making some changes, taking a sabbatical. Uh, still trying to figure out if there's potential for new ownership or Retro could come back with a new business plan. Uh, also possible to be retired. Uh, they're going to be around for at least the next six months, it says, as they sort of wind down and take care of uh, pens they Pins. already you know committed to. Uh, six, five or six new designs of the popper pens, uh, which is like the. Like, they have one coming out soon, right? They're gonna. Yeah, I think so. But they haven't shown it yet. I don't. But... I haven't seen it. Um, and so the uh, the news is like people are like, oh no, retro is shutting down. And like maybe, yeah, maybe that's a possibility. Yeah. Uh, so there's been kind of a run on retros, and people are like going to the Instagram, and there's like hashtag Save Retro Fifty One, and like all kinds of stuff. So. Uh, Brad Dowdy was actually showing off, like, going through his, like, ret box of retro pens. I thought it'd be kind of fun to take a look at what we have. I mean, I wish we had done that before, yes, because all... You mean decided my, it before? Yeah, mine's yeah. sort of all at work, yeah, and yeah. I have literally one other one. All the rest I use at work because, yeah. I mean, at work is when I off, most often use ballpoints and stuff. Yeah, that's weird. I know it's a fountain pen company, but we have cheap copy paper and things like that, so... Yeah. And sometimes it's just more convenient to use a ballpoint. Yeah. And it's just kind of the way it goes. <sighs> I cannot get into this pen case. So I was talking to my mom about it yesterday, actually, because she had watched um, some YouTube stuff and whatnot. She's like, oh, no, I, I don't even know if I've heard of Retro 51. And what's funny is she was just here, and I keep most of my retros in this big case that she actually gave me a couple years yeah. ago. And I'm like, yeah, you know all those pens in that one case? Um, so, like, this is my tray of retros. I'm pretty sure this is all my retros, aside from the ones we just got. But uh, Yeah, I have no idea. I haven't really... I really kept track of What is that, that blue arrow that's right there? Is there anything? Oh, this is just, um, this is actually on the, okay. so I want to make sure. the chat thing. It's not. Okay. Oh, Good. interesting. The chat stopped. Hold okay, on. that's what I thought. I'm like, nobody said anything a little while. That's sort of strange. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, maybe people aren't chatty today. That's fine. Yeah, no, they are. Just it's not saying stuff. Yeah, it's not a good. Dapper Man says evening. 
Okay, now we've caught up. We missed a whole bunch of stuff, so let's see. Well, sorry, uh, everybody. Yeah. I was like, well, I guess Weird. they don't really care to talk about that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Logo sh sign should be on. Oh, that's true. We should turn yeah, on the logo. that's true. Do you want me to do that? Yeah, if you could. You just need to plug it in down there at the bottom left. Um... Uh, is the Vermilion shade similar to my nib logo? No, I don't think so. My nib is straight up red. Um, Pilot CP is nice. Yeah, I don't think I've used that one actually. Saw your unboxing, had to get me another one. You got the rosy one. Which one's rosy? Oh, Rosie the Riveter. Oh yeah, that's a cool oh, one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the rivets. Greetings, Steven. Hello, Rich is releasing a new popper on Tuesday. Is that one it is? Oh, it's Tuesday. releasing. I thought they were just gonna unveil it because they have not even yep. unveiled it yet. Um, Deverman says, hi, Mike says, I'll be getting the TPA Retro 51 for sure, and hopefully the Atlas Stationer Chicago one if it comes out this year. There's an Atlas, oh. uh, Atlas Stationer is doing a Chicago one too, huh? Oh, I, I know that. Anderson Penns has a Chicago one. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen the Atlas one, but, mm -mm. um, I also don't really have any tie to Chicago, except it's like my favorite pin show probably, yeah. but I don't, like, I don't really, that's not even in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> so we need like a, oh, what is the, what is the name of that place? It's not Redwood City. That's one where San Hoffman Francisco Hoffman Estates. Hoffman Estates. I need a Hoffman Estates Retro 51. Yeah. Um, and I actually haven't had any time to listen to uh, what Brad was saying about the TPA Retro 51. He was saying something, I guess, yeah. about having one as part of the Kickstarter this year. Oh. Uh, I hear it might just have a bunch of like the finial logos all over the body or something. Like 50 of the finial logos like they have. Like yeah. these little guys and then just like one on top that is 51 or something is an mm -hmm. idea I don't know I haven't heard that so it could be entirely wrong yeah. <laughs> derided locally as Hoffman mistakes <laughs> I, I mean I really like the place where the pin show is it's a good location but yeah I mean it's convenient for yeah. vendor things or for the show things not for people who actually live in Chicago <laughs> yeah right it's, for them not so much yeah then, you know, the parking is free and it's right next to a million it's, things to eat. Yeah. Unlike Philly, where parking is very expensive. And, uh, like... There's things to eat. I mean, there's a couple places. Yeah. We've been to literally one place. Well, yes. <laughs> I assume good, there are others, so. yeah. Uh, honestly, the only thing that's wrong is that it's not in Chicago pop proper. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really mind when shows aren't in the city that they're named for. But, I don't usually leave the hotel anyway, so... At Hoffman Estates, you can just leave the hotel and walk across the parking lot, and there's a zillion restaurants. Target. The Target. Yeah. The Target has booze in it. Yep. If you like, yeah. if you forgot your vodka, you can go to Target. So like, that's kind of cool, I guess. There you go. But, oh we look, have Scraggles. A dog. Hi. Did you properly chastise all the cats? Chase them out of here. Hmm. <laughs> Scraggles like, I'm gonna get my head out of this camera frame. There you go. There's your face. What are you doing, being a bashful girl? She's so. always that way. She's like, I know there's a camera there. I mm -hmm. know it. Yeah. So I thought it'd be fun to take a look at some retros that we've got. And I didn't think about that really until today. And Audrey had already left all her stuff at work. Um, so we've got, like, one of hers that's not new. Yeah. And then uh, I can take a look at some of these others. I mean, maybe in my pen, there in some cases that I consolidated, there might be some extra ones in there. Uh, I thought you put them all in the, I thought you put all your pins in that one case. No, that's just a small selection. None of my mm. retros are in there. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, um, let me go to the old desk here. Uh, so these are the ones we got the other day. These are the ones that showed up in the, uh, which one's your favorite out of the ones we just got? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Where's the other one? There's one more. I think I was using one today. What did I do with it? Well, gone forever. <laughs> it might be. Uh, I'm just like frantically cleaning off my desk when I was trying not to be too late. What was the other one that we got? Oh, the Vega. Yeah. I literally just had, oh, here it is. Good. Uh, which one's my favorite? Um, I don't, I don't know. So these are the ones we just got. We got the Buzz. This is the Vega. This is another Smithsonian, the uh, African uh, History, African American History Museum, I think it is. This is the Rescue uh, Rhinosauruses and Elephantes. Yeah. Not why I say hippo. Yeah. Hippos no. are cool too. Well, they are cool. A pair of cat rescues. Yeah, my first cat rescue one is at work. I use it all the time. And this is another one of Audrey's. Do you remember what this one's called? I believe it's called Spring or something like that. It's a solid Spring name. Spring Blossom. It's numbered, I think. It's number 230. It is. Which I think is actually a really classy looking. It reminds design. me a little bit of um, 
something similar to a, a rifle paper yes a rifle rifle paper company one. yeah rifle paper tends to have this kind of motif I mean, if they happen to have a pen that was that nice i'd be shocked which most places don't so that's, <laughs> that's why i like that they're aesthetic but the quality of the pen is usually in question yeah uh, Scruggles always looks so wary with her head lowered. She is. That's what she, again, she's not like, well, she, knows she knows there's a camera. She knows there's a camera and she yeah. hates, she's like, there's lights. I know there's a camera here. I don't like it. Yep. Yep. She does not like that. Um, so which one do I like best? I don't know. I have a favorite. You do? What's your I favorite? I do. What do you think my favorite is? The bees? Yeah. That's really surprising, it is. actually. It is. I know. Yep. That, but, no, the favorite. bees is really cool. I, mean, I, I like the top. I mean, look at that freaking bear. It's so cute. I love it. Yeah. yeah the bears. Yeah. Super cool. I kind of wish the buzz didn't have the bees on it, honestly. Oh. Really? Like, yeah, I think without the bees, it would be even cooler. You mean, like, it's, the honey comes enough. Or, like, yeah. one bee? Or, like, two, maybe? Yeah. Just a couple bees, I think, then it would be... Maybe there's too many bees. I think maybe yeah. there's too many bees. Uh, I don't know. I still like it. It's still super cool. Um, and I like this one a lot more than I thought I was going to. Yeah. This is the elephant yeah, and the rhino one. Yeah, one I said I was going to get, and you're like, I mean, I like the acid etched ones, but I don't know if we need both of those. And I'm like, I don't know. I like it. So, got it anyway. Yeah, is Vega after the Street Fighter character? It is not. Uh, it is after the plane that Amelia Earhart flew. <laughs> so. And also, which that's what, you know, that one from Street Fighter was named after. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yep. <laughs> it's the secret history of Street yep, Fighter too. Yeah, just didn't know. <laughs> um, I mean, the Vega is super cool, but yeah, this one this one might be my favorite. I don't know. Really? Hmm. Maybe. I okay, don't know. I like, like This one's also ones, super duper cool. But the cat ones were more so for to finish the set than anything. I mean, some of these cats, like this orange cat in the middle, I think is very suspicious, and I like him. <laughs> you like that, huh? I also like this this gray one who just looks very stern. No vegetals for that cat. No vegetals. And I like that one because it is very Nekoatsume. Yeah. Yep. I looked. Uh, I opened that app up on my phone, Did you? actually. I, I still have... got it. Yeah, me too, but I haven't opened it. Apparently, there are a lot of new cats, so we're going to have to check that out. Um, Man, I did like that game. I don't know why I stopped. Uh, it was because of Tubbs just always came through eating our food. Freaking Tubbs. Thank you. I forgot. I, it's been that long. Tubbs. Eating all that food. It's like Katie. Katie, um, your name should have been Tubbs. question is, how do they compare in weight, and where does Buzz rank? That's a good, that's a good point. They are well, different. You know, I actually... I don't know. I think they're similar enough that I hadn't noticed, but... I have a thing for that, actually. Because some of them look like they'd be heavier, but they're not. This they're is buzz. Like 0.9. Uh, yep, right about an ounce. Uh, these cat ones. An ounce. An ounce. Yeah. Elephants. One Same. tenth higher. One tenth higher. Well, see, it switches every time that you are about to. It changes to 0.9. It does? Yeah. It did have both of them on that same one. Okay, that one didn't. Try the other one again. <laughs> that one, yeah. This is Mike tries see? to weigh things. And it, it changes. Yep. See? Oh. And oh. both of them. So those two are on the verge. So yeah. probably 0.95 or 6. So it looks like the answer is like totally normal but the weights do feel a little bit in the hand the so, distribution is a little bit different this is the just bog standard uh orange one see, yeah. same so i think they're all the same or at least so close that this Maybe. one is the metal system that might be a little bit different nope no. wow <laughs> how about this one this is a big one this is the big shot yes so different 1.2 uh so the answer is really like they all kind of weigh the same yeah. They're all at least very close within a tenth. So one B would be best. I agree. All right. So those are the ones we uh, we just got. Those six grams. Oh, no. Wait, this is such a fluid ounces. What? Why is this on fluid ounces? Why would ounces? you have it on fluid ounces? I don't know. Pounds and ounces. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's weird. I don't know why I was doing that. Well, it turns out it's not really any different. <laughs> okay, well, it's a little different. Yeah. A little bit different. Not much, though. 
see that one's wider. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. Roughly the same. That was fun. <laughs> so those are the ones we just got. I don't really need this at the moment. Uh, so then ones that were like we're already in the... Can I get these in and out of the frame if we can? That'd be kind of fun. There we go. So many things. This fingernail is really mm -hmm. popping on here. It it's already gotten scratched off. And yeah. A, yeah. Um, hi, Katie. Thanks. Cats help. <laughs> so this is uh, another one of my favorites. This is the Metal System. This is from uh, Mike Dudek at Clicky Post. Did a couple of system runs. The Didn't first you one is those more recently. This one's pretty recent. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I mean, fairly. It was in the last few months, anyway. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I ever saw that. I knew you were getting it, but I didn't know if I ever um, I don't know. I feel like you've probably seen it, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I never got the... Can you move? Thanks. I never got the, like, the uh, illustrated one. It was just mm -hmm. kind of... Oh, yeah. I tried to, and then Cat uh, snaked it out from under me somehow. So, Cat has it. Thanks, Cat. Uh, <laughs> uh, one B equals the buzz. Mini B equals the swarm. There you go. Uh, V8 moment. Grams. So sloppy with just one pan and nail. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, and then this is the orange one. This is my very first Retro 51 yeah. from back in the day. I've had this one for years. Yeah, we have some that are very old. Yeah. I mean, we they buying... still make this one. Yeah. But. Yeah, there are definitely ones that I've gotten well before you started your channel and just when we first started going to shows. Yeah. Um, we started going to shows pretty well around when I when I started my blog and Maybe stuff. 2011 or something? No, I'll look it up actually. Uh, I have I keep it on a sticky note. Uh, blog began in 2012, and then first live stream. We've been live streaming for like three years. But I July was of that. 2017. Yeah, that was you had a job. I, yeah, I, I mean I still have a job. <laughs> That's true. Whew. Thank goodness. I know. Uh, and then, so, uh, I've got a few others. This is probably the second one I ever got. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, this is when they stopped making kind of immediately after I got it. And I never really understood why, because it's super cool. It's like, um, I don't know, would you say it's rose gold or regular old gold color? It's, it's on the verge of being rose gold, but it's I think sort it of like a, a coppery looking gold. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Some like anonymous metal. Yeah. Uh, and then recreational grade titanium. Well, I'm uh, glad they, they distinguished that between other types. I know. Like, this recreational grade titanium is actually why I bought this. Yeah. Because <laughs> I thought I that cracks me up all the time. Yeah. And also, it's a big shot, so it's a lot bigger than the rest of them, and uh, I like the extra size. I mean, it fits really well in my hand. That's what you got. I've got big hands, and so uh, the big shot Beefy is pretty good. Beefy mitts? Beefy mitts, some might say. Um, and then this one is an Anderson Pens exclusive. Yeah. This is their first one, the terabyte. I got number 42, which is fun. You didn't get that in the store, did you? Uh, no, they sent this to me. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I bought it and they mailed yeah. it to me. Uh, this is the green one. They've got a black one now, and I haven't got one of those. I like the green one a little better. So, Same refill on the big one? Yeah, totally. Yeah. All this stuff is the same. Um, and I always take out the, the rollerball refill. So. I do not. I use it up like because I'm not wasteful. Well, just throw it right in the trash. Mm hmm <laughs> then this one is uh i really like this one this is done by um bioworks ben kwok who is an illustrator uh does like tattoo art i think that's your stuff you really like his stuff i do <laughs> i have uh, like a, a whole passel of his stickers yeah. uh, i think his stuff is really amazing but it's these owls and owls are cool for me too because i'm a philosopher and owls are like the universal symbol of philosophers so i dig it because you're wise yeah allegedly and then this one, I don't remember what this one is called. I don't either. This one yeah. is from Pen Chalet. It was a uh, an ex whoop. <laughs> no, an exclusive for them. Uh, also numbered. Well, I have a lot of numbers. I'm a sucker for a numbered pen. Um, but uh, yeah, this one's really cool. It's got like the it's kind of space themed. It's got the bright gold accents in it. I dig it. And then these two I actually won, which was fun. Probably should have left one of them in the two, but these are from Van S. These are the uh, the illustrated like Saturday morning uh, or Sunday cartoon those, strip yeah. ones. Yeah, I probably should have just left them in the tube as a retirement plan. But I mean, you should still have my prototype somewhere. So that's oh, I've still one. got it. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, these are and the numbers match, which is nice. They're both one tens, uh, but pretty cool. I dig these. And then 
uh, almost last is this one, which is probably maybe the coolest one actually, because this one is smaller than the rest, although not tiny, uh, and it's also a multi pen. So you turn one way and you get a you get a color, and you turn the other way and you get a different color. So these are just little D1 refills that are in here. Uh, the Pin Chalet one? Oh, uh, Argonauts. Yeah, that's right, Argonaut. Wow. That's what it was, the Pin Chalet one, uh, this guy. It came in orange and green. I want to say they might have done another run, but I didn't get one of those. I just got the orange. But this multi-pen design is... I, they need to make more of these. Like, I want a full-sized one. Maybe if they make it bigger, they can put in more barrels. I don't know, but uh, I really dig this multi-pen design. Let's see if I can take it apart. Just look at my cases real quick to see if yeah see what you got yeah there so there's the, there. the two things yep so this originally actually came with a stylus but it was the hard stylus uh, so it was like it won't work with modern screens or anything because this is an older pen but yeah fun stuff so um she's gone off to find more stuff and <laughs> see if she has any so uh yeah we've been retro fans for a long time and, uh, you know, it'd be really sad if they went away. I hope, really hope they don't. I hope the love they're getting on the internets um, either convinces them to stick around or convinces somebody to give them a bunch of money and buy this com the company. <laughs> so either way would be fine with me. Uh, putting these back in the tray here. There. We go. there. Uh, and then Audrey, of course, has a bunch at work, and we haven't, I don't even know what she has there. Um, she's a big fan. Daughter says, hi, Katie Prairie. I'll pet her if she ever comes back. No, oh, here she comes. She's getting chased in by Scraggles. Come on, Katie. There you go. There you go. Katie Prairie gets pets. There you go. There's a lot of Retro 51s. I know, Sandra. I know. I mean, we've been buying those for a very long time. So, you know, not 30 years. We haven't been there. Oh, you know what? I've got others. Um, where is my other one? I've got a desk set that I totally forgot about. I wonder if I can find a picture of it. I've got it packed away. Uh, I don't have it here. Um, I'll show 51 desk set to pen. Uh, it's from quite a while ago. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find a picture of it here easily. Let's see. Um, I don't even know what to call it. It's got like dots on it, like cheetah print or something. So there's Mike Googles, Mike Googles things. Huh. Okay, don't judge me, but I might have found four of them. All right, nice. I was thinking I have that double pin set okay, from Retro, really and I can't find them. Come. I don't know. I'll find them eventually. If you know that many, which you have a fair few. Yeah, you're wrong. I love Brad, but he just showed empty or sealed Retro 51 packages. Yeah, we don't really keep ours in the tubes. Oh, we have a, you have a Shiba Inu one for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, oh yeah that one i have the other the robots one at work yeah i have maybe even two I don't pink know. robots yeah that's yeah. right um so yeah this is the uh wwf wild world wildlife federation it's got a panda in it bamboo it's made of bamboo i really like this one this is a, like this one. is very cool yeah i think i would have bought bought one if you hadn't i feel like we got this at a show maybe from anderson's, anderson's yep. yeah I yeah and i was like i want that too Raleigh so grab it yeah seems year. right and this is the dinosaur fossil one, which is another one of the etched ones. It's got quite a lot of... What's on the top of that one? Um, oh, oh, it's like a mosquito. Yeah, that's cool. Like a cool. mosquito in amber. Yeah. He's such a cool job with those, man. And uh, then also, yeah, it has a nice texture. Oh, this is it. number 412. This must have been one that you picked and had them like find for you, because that's Audrey's birthday. It's coming yep. up. Uh, only a few shopping months for your birthday. Uh, only, yes. Yep. Oh, it takes that long to, you know... <laughs> And then you had to get this one. Yeah. I don't remember what this one's called. Do like you? Like Dimitri or the, it starts with a D. Dimitri something. Something like that. Um, I mean, I should know that, but, you know. You want to pick up a Lincoln fountain pen? The Lincoln is pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks for petting the cat. You're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, it has like the radioactivity symbol on the top, which is cool. And it's got the periodic table here. Dimitri, says David. Yeah. Good job, David. Uh, and well, then and me and Audrey. I did get Good job, it right. Audrey. I was unsure of it, but and this one. You know, I take it back, David. Good job, Audrey. Thank you, and yep. thank you, David, yep. for confirming. No, nope, no, nope, David gets nothing now. No, sorry, that's the way it goes. Only no. one person can get credit. That's the way it goes. <laughs> so and this one, 
I think that they should make more of these. This is the slim, slim line one. So I like the size better. I think it fits my hand better. They don't make very many of them, but yeah. There's, there's four sizes of pen. It's hard to tell, but in the hand, it just, it's not as back heavy as sometimes they can feel. Yeah. So I... It's quite I, a lot slimmer, I yeah, think. Yeah, I got uh, Scott from FC. I got him one of the... I forget what it looked like, but I got he complimented and liked using that pen, so I got him one for Christmas. I like it a lot, too, actually. It's yeah. got a nice feel to it. Yeah. The little hexagons really stand out. So I wish they would make more of those. You know, let me grab the uh, little tiny one. Oh, yeah. So we do have a few, don't we? Turns out, yeah. Um... I'll have to take a picture of all of them together. Yeah. Here, you should show this one. It's so cute. You got hands. I do have hands. I trust you. What year do we get this? So yes, this is a retro. It takes the Schmidt mini refill. He hit me on the back. Everything's fine. Don't yeah. worry about it. I have a green refill in here right now. But I forget, do you remember the number that mm -mm. the mini is? Mm-mm. I can't remember. I should know this, but yes. Anyway, it has, um, there's a line on the top, but basically it has little polka dots around the top and it's sort of, I don't know, you think this is yellow or orange? It's sort of it's a, yellow for sure. Yeah. Well, an orangey yellow, but this was just a prototype that they had on their table in Dallas, which is the only show they actually go to or have a table at. So we went up there. I had, you know, two minutes to shop one day. Saw all this little guy sitting there and said, I gotta have that. So I, this yeah. one is, this one is very small. This is the other small one. I mean, it's, I was gonna sell it because it's just so much smaller. It's, it's just tiny. And then this is the, this is the normal size. So it's, it's wee. It is so small. But, I mean, for the novelty of it, I really, I mean, I like so small, I can't even hold on to it. There we go. Yeah, it's a cute little purse pen, maybe, but yeah, not when you're going to use much. So, but now that they're uh, you know uncertain, staying yeah, with us. I know. Actually, got quite a few fountains though. A couple of tornadoes, a Farney's cherry blossom fountain. Nice. I think the mini refill is just called the M eight one two six. Huh. Is it the one two six? I mean, you could pull that one out and you'll see. Yeah, it's different from the rest because the top actually just pulls off to take the refill out. Let's see. I actually completely forgot about that, actually. This is the Mitch Schalspitz uh, Schmidt Mine S630M. The S630. I mean, it just flows off the tongue. Yeah. That's one of these weird little guys. Yeah. I don't know. Works perfectly well. The nice thing is we we saw them at work, so. Oh really? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. You ever find that many any bag you carry? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, she had them in the other room in her pen cases. So. Yeah. yeah. I always have them. I mean, I don't have to with these, but. Oh, you never find that mini? She means the tiny one. Yeah. Miniature. That's one. what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. Um. But, uh, yeah, no, you'd probably lose it for sure. Yeah. I mean, they're so indestructible. You just sort of have them loose yeah, in your purse. Yeah, I just fine. don't normally do that. It'd be fine. Yeah. Is there any other pen news that came out this week? Not a whole lot of pen news, I don't think. You're still waiting to... You want to get one of the new... The Platinum Clicky Pen. Yeah, the Curados. That's what it is. Yeah. So hopefully yeah. soon those will be here. Yeah, I know um, Mike Dudek at uh, Clicky Post got a hold of one somehow early, that guy. That was my fault. It fell this morning, mm -hmm. so it's it's my fault. Mr. Nose is playing with a wrapper. A wrapper of a, yeah. a granola bar. Um, so this is Mike Dudek at The Clicky Post. If you're not familiar with that, go check out that blog because he does a really good job. He doesn't blog a huge amount, but um, good stuff. So this is the Curados. It goes for like 64 bucks. Well, Ugh. some people are saying that some people are charging the full 80, so it's hard to say. I don't know what hmm. the price is really going to be. Yeah, I don't know. Um, 
But uh, it looks like it's going to be an interesting pen. This clip situation is very interesting. Apparently, they give you a little tool to take the clip off with. That's nice because yeah, it's a little, a little weird. It's all weird. Yeah. It's weirdly proportioned, but yeah. this whole mechanism is not anything like the the vanishing yeah. point. Like it is way it look, different. It looks, and look at this. Yeah. It's also a much bigger pen than the vanishing yeah. point, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, you've got this like flexible bit inside here where the nib stays, unlike the vanishing point, which yeah. is kind of like a kind of like a mildly dodgy door. Honestly, they mm -hmm. tend to dry out. Dry out. Yep. Uh, but this one is apparently supposed to not dry out. That nib looks like it's gonna be flipping tiny though. Like look at that thing. Oh. I'm very curious how that clip sits in the hand. Yeah. Because it looks pretty, you know, because that's my problem. I don't mind the Decimo as much. The Vanishing Point, I I like the Decimo more than the Vanishing Point, just mm -hmm. for my hand. But I, I don't love, the way I hold a pen, I don't love where the clip is. And I know I'm not alone in that. I think this one's for, maybe you far enough it's back. far enough? Well, yeah. I mean, if you look at this picture that's yeah, on here now. True. Yeah, I mean, it is farther back. So I'm, I'm curious what to see what it'll yeah. feel like in the hand. And they are cool with you taking it, on, taking that's it off, That's true. Too. That will be nice. I mean, I again, I like a clip, but yeah. if it's going to be sitting weirdly in the hand right here, I don't want to be hitting there. So. Yeah, taking apart the, uh, the vanishing oh. point is not easy, no. so... If only you could get a coupon code from supporting a pen blogger, you could. You could go to uh, inkdependence or uh, patreon.com slash inkdependence. Uh, 10% off. And, oh, I don't, I don't have that one up there. Whatever. Oh. And you can get a code that'll give you a 10% off. But it's secret. It's only for patrons. Don't give it away. Beth says she likes the de decimo better than the vanishing point, too. Yeah. I get it. The decimo is really nice. Um, yeah, it's a totally you different... You some full-size vanishing points, though. I've got two. Yeah. Yep. And one decimo. It's yours. You, oh, I was like going to say, you don't I have I mean, one. we have. I don't know. Oh, we. Yeah. Uh, we, the Madisons. Anyway, so I was talking to luxury brands who distributes those things, yeah. and uh, they said, yeah, we'll totally send you one. I was trying to buy one, and they're like, well, we'll send you one, uh, but they can't sell it to me because they're a distributor, I guess, yeah. and uh, they don't have them yet. <laughs> so I don't, know how, I don't know how they got one, but, you know, yeah. jealous. So go check out my dude at giving them clicks. Decimo still clicks? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have it. I think it's you have it. I, that, oh, I do have it in here. Yeah. I have it. Um, so yeah, definitely. It's, side, it's just like the vanishing it. point. There we go. There's mine. So, uh, these are the two. The Decimo is the slimmer one, of course, and the full-size vanishing point is this yellow one. Uh, and uh, yeah, they both click. They both do the same thing. They use the same uh, internal uh, nib unit and cartridges. Yeah, I was just and... gonna start the same nib and everything. Yeah, yeah everything's the, everything's the same, just uh, slightly smaller body. But. And you like the Decimo better? Interesting. I don't know if I like it better. Oh, I thought you said that you liked it. No, better. Beth likes it better. I don't know. They're both. I think they both feel good. Yeah, but you have bigger hands, so I figured you. I've never really used the decimo for any period of time as the the thing because I, mean, I you probably don't have one. Would like that one. Um, Jim made a sig out of that one, so mm. it shouldn't be a problem. I think all of mine are. <laughs> I might have one broad nib that I got after he died, but yeah. all the rest of them are. What's the twisty pilot capless? Uh, that's called the. Uh, I'm inked up. But I want you to try it. Would you like to try some blue cashmere? I don't care. Right, try it right now if you want. Right. But I told her to make something. And she's like, well, what do you want me to make? I said, just make me something. She Wait, said, what did she do? What kind of nib was it? I just told her to make something for me. And what was it? She ended up making an architect. No, that's too bad. Well, I, and she, I told her, I'm like, I don't like architects. I know you, that's your thing. I'm just letting you know I don't like architects. And she's like... I'm going to do an architect then. Like, so I I liked, that was the first time I actually met Gina in person. I've talked to her online and whatnot, but she was super nice. I really liked her. I'm, I'm glad. I liked hanging out with her too. Yeah. yeah. I like Gina cool. a lot. <laughs> this cat is ridiculous down here. She's rubbing her face on things with their Electrical cords. Yeah. So, since I was saying that I don't love architects, she wanted to do one. I, I like the... Nib grinders always take that as a challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge. <laughs> that makes and I'm like, please don't take that challenge. 
<laughs> but. Is that a blue or a purple? Well, it's okay. a blur pole. Okay. <laughs> Quiet. It's definitely a purpley blue. It's really not be as heavy. Oh, the um, the Curidas? No, it's definitely not going to yeah. be as heavy, I don't think. I would be shocked if it were. There you go. Give it a shot. What do you think? If you move it over a little bit, you'll be in the... In the, in the there you go. Oh, I don't have anything important to say. Well, you know. <laughs> uh, this is a, an ink from Blackstone that I got from John at Lemur Ink. It's uh, blue cashmere. It's definitely a blurple. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is going to get it. It's not actually a uh, like a limited edition or anything, but uh, he wasn't sure if anybody else in the U.S. Has, had yeah, ordered yeah. it or was going to get it. I do. Okay. Here. Um, and it's actually quite nice. I don't I don't mind it for being a blurple. I don't know. What do you think? It's kind of. Yeah, it actually darkens up a little bit too. Yeah, it darkens up as you go. So. Yeah. So I, yeah. I enjoy that. I don't know. What do you think of that nib? I like it. Yeah. I mean. It feels better than most architects I've used. Yeah. And I think the thing that when talking to her, I think when I was using architects, they weren't back then, they weren't as widely used or practiced for nib grinders as much as they have now. Like the people who are doing it have done it for years now. And so mm. they sort of protect, perfected the technique and then things to sort of when people say, oh, like me, oh, I don't like them because they feel scratchy, this or that. I think that they've gotten better at it. So I think that that's why. Hmm. Or be. I'm just gotten used to it and that's fine. Maybe it's I still really one. haven't. Like I still, like I wouldn't request that as a nib grind. Oh, see, I would again, request maybe it's almost me, anything maybe else. Just, yeah. Like, because the way I, I write, like I always yeah. tilt it over. It's no good. Yeah. No good for me. Oh, hey, uh, WLS PEC 1. Really enjoying Hi. the new Franklin Christoph 20 from Philly. Oh, awesome. Cool. Two weeks in a row, Inky Rick. Look at you. Look at you. Making it to the chat. So, I actually did get one other thing this week that's sort of pen related. Uh, and jeez. Oh, <laughs> Y'all know I like post-it notes. I've got oh, a, oh they, they know. I got a whole drawer here labeled post-it notes. And it's mostly post-it notes. Since I've known him, he's had a drawer full of post-it notes. Yeah. It gets so. smaller occasionally. Does it? I use them up. You uh, do use them. So, a post-it note that I've been really, Sorry. that I've been really into lately has been uh, these little guys, which are super sticky and they're also sort of edge-to-edge -edge glue. So only like the end of it here is not glued. Um, I really like these guys. The first time I got them was on this like weird wall calendar thing that I got from them. Oh, okay. Like it was along yeah, the edge. That. Yeah. I was like, these are great. And so after I used up the wall calendar, I just like cut that off and took all the, the post-it notes. Yeah, but that um, now you can get these guys, but they didn't have full size ones like that until like recently. So these are brand new and you can buy this cube thing that they picture here and put one oh. on each side, um, which is okay. But I decided like, you're not going to do that. I don't really need this cube. Like. But then you have more colors out. I mean, I guess. Or I can just like keep this whole box <laughs> out on my desk. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a lay flat longer, easy peel edge, super sticky, full stick. And they totally full are. Stick. Like the only bit that's not is this. And uh, I've been using them at work. They're very nice. Yeah. Like I took some notes about like what I, meetings I had coming up, slaps it on my desk and they don't do that weird thing where they like curl up and because yeah. they oh, stay on your so desk. Annoying. Yeah, yeah. So... Check out Post-It Full Stick. They kinda do they're kinda dope. How are the extreme ones doing on the fence? The ones on the fence are gone. Those are gone. Um I forget what took out the ones on the fence at last. Was it one of the hurricanes? No, they made it through the hurricanes just fine. Um <laughs> I'm surprised they made it through the second hurricane, not the one that everyone yeah. was freaked out about that yeah. would end up being nothing. But Yeah, no, they made it through both. I forget. You know, maybe there's still one on the gate. Maybe it got torn off. I know the one out here is still there. Yeah, the one yeah, that's on the front, the front porch, porch is, still, is still, there. still there. It's been yep. almost two years. Yep. So, has it been two years? Can that be right? I it must have so. been. It must it's been, been a really long time. At least a. F yeah. Yeah, like almost yeah. two years, a year and a half. Because well, I put it on in the middle of the in I'm like glad July. I got it back. I don't. Oh, you have. I remember now. Yeah. Hopefully, it works. It works good for you now. If you have any problems with your Frank Christoph nibs, send them to us. Well, let's take a look at them. Yep. 
She will fix them up. Huh. Don't live with a, a nib that has a problem for a year till the next show. Send it to us. We'll get them. We'll get them right back out to you. Yeah. I don't want you to have to have pens that, you know, need worked on forever. Hmm. I want you to use them. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ever gonna find this Retro Fifty One desk set. Weird. Maybe there's no pictures of it online. You just get these singles. Oh, here it is. This is what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Where is that? It's like this. I'm not exactly oh. sure. It's got to be around it's here so, somewhere, yeah. but I put it away for some reason, and I can't figure out hmm. where the hell I put it. <laughs> so, we'll show up. Yeah, yeah, it's around here. But it's this nice desk, like, nice desk base, and it's got a fountain pen, and then it's got a rollerball. Yeah. Uh, and I had to actually... <laughs> I had to talk to them about getting a new fountain pen nib because um, when I got it, it had just been sitting in somebody's storage yeah. for like 15 or 20 years. And I, I, uh, what did I, how did I find it out? Oh, I remember what it was. So I, I filled what it with ink. What happened to it? Uh, what happened to it was I filled it with ink and then it like, it kept going dry. Mm -hmm. And then I found it was like ink in the, in the well, in the, the two pen thing. I'm like, well, that's weird. And so I looked at the, I looked at the front of it, and I could see the collar was cracked. And so I unscrewed that, and it literally just fell apart in like dust, because it had just oh. like dry rotted or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and they use a Schmidt nib, so it's not like so the nib unit's yeah. different, and so, like. The, I remember you going and yeah. asking them about. Are you having it and asking? Yeah. But I didn't remember what was wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Had some had some lined ones like that, but they weren't 3M brand. Oh, okay, that's mm. cool. It's fused now. Oh, you mean the one on the fence? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> July. Yep. I put it out in July, but it was like July of last year, not this last summer. The one before. Yeah, it was the one before. Uh, Burnaby we BC. Welcome. Oh, wow. Uh, also loving the M Sig on the Philly oh, L45L. Uh, so sparkly, yeah. It is sparkly. It's got a nice, uh, it's got a nice like finish to it. I like that it's kind of swirly instead of just the regular swir yeah. Uh, sparkly. Yeah. Pretty cool. Do I know what the FC release for tonight is? I'm pretty sure I do, because we have some things coming. Um, I don't know which thing he's posting, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I can't tell. But Can't tell. Any, any way you look at it, there's a lot of color that he showed. This is gonna be, they're, they're colorful, at least that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there somebody selling one? Uh, no, Where did it used you get yours? I the got retro mine... Set. Oh, I bought it on Slack from somebody. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I forget who, but I bought it on Slack for sure. How old is it? I mean, when did that come out? I don't know. Early 90s, maybe, I think, oh, okay. is what they said. Could hmm. be earlier, but I don't know. It's hard to find some stuff like that, because yeah. you've had so many models, then yeah. unless somebody kept a catalog, you know. Not staying up until 3 a.m. Uh, oh, yeah. I could set an alarm. I mean... <laughs> set an alarm for 3 a.m.? I mean, that's what... It's people do i know it's yeah. annoying yeah it's weird yeah. that it's going up at 10 p.m tonight or something isn't that what we he said we can set them up at any time now we have the, with our new website mm. we have an easier system for doing it i mean i think he's just doing it to make it you know sort of switching it up for people in different parts of the country or the world country different parts of the world to try and make it so it's a little little fair <laughs> so i'm laughing at this graph so like there's 61 of y'all here now hey 61 people wow yeah, it's pretty, we it's don't pretty have, awesome. We don't have enough things to say for 61 no. people. But then I was looking at this graph, which shows... Um, <laughs> Somebody uh, <laughs> hated whatever we're doing. No, everybody did. So oh. it went... From, oh, no, oh, this is comments. Oh, no, it's viewers. Yeah, so it went from uh, 30 or so at 520 down to... Two, oh, it's comments. I don't know, like zero like or something. Zero, like yeah. it went to nothing. It just went out. So I don't think it's real. I think probably it just had a glitch. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, Scott said he wanted to give Asia a chance. Yes. Oh, is that what he said? That makes, yeah. that makes sense. Have you tried the Curitas yet? No. We were just actually yeah, talking about that. And I have... Um, they've said that they will send me one to review, but uh, they don't have them yet. And they were actually... Luxury Brands was in Germany at the time, so they couldn't yeah. obviously send it then. But yeah. um, when do I expect to? As ASAP as I can. Uh, if so, what do you think of it? Oh, I haven't yet. But I do think it'll be cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, I think... My first impression was, holy crap, that's hideous. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my I second impression was, that's kind of cool. Well, I think that when it first came out, it was just pictures. We had mm. no idea pricing points. I, yeah. With the pricing points they put at it, I think that's a really good price range that people are like, oh, well, for that, it's click. Okay. You know, mm. so I think that's the reason why. If they were going to be putting it up to where the vanishing point is, I think people are like, mm, that's... Mm. No. 
Oh, Laura says we went offline for a sec. Oh, well, it's just been a blip. I don't know why mm-hmm. that would happen. Um, several seconds. Oh, well, sorry about that. Wow. I had well. no idea. That's weird. Uh, but whatever. I'm glad that's over. It looks like we're good now. Um, yeah, they used uh, to... Maybe that was when it wasn't the the blip when um, the comments stopped showing and everything stopped. Oh, that might and, have been it. And they're like, I'm like, people aren't saying anything. Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah, yeah there you go. That might do it. Yeah. Anywho, um... Yeah, so then, like, the thing that's made me think I'm going to like the Kiridas is the, um, uh, Bryce at, uh, Luxury Brands showed, like, a video of it working, because you can see the internals, because it's translucent or whatever, yeah, yeah. and that looks like it's got a cool, like, spinny mechanism or some oh, weird cool. thing inside, so, I wonder I if they're, are they only doing transparents for it? Or at least yeah, they're they... all translucent so far, mm. yeah. Yeah. I th- I'm curious what it would look like without mm. the translucent. I think it would mm-hmm. class it up a little bit and it wouldn't be quite... I don't know. Maybe yeah. not. Maybe I could be wrong. I saw that huge snow we're getting since so like, <laughs> grew now. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, it's, uh, it's we've definitely it got is. six inches of snow out there for <laughs> sure, yeah. I'm going to jinx it. I'm going to say it. We haven't, gotten, snow? we haven't gotten any snow at all no. this year. No, and I don't think there's... I haven't seen any in the forecast. I mean, it's been... It was cold. It was in the 40s. A couple days this winter, and that was pretty much it. Well, it's gotten it's gotten cold. At night, it's gotten down to the twenties yeah. and whatnot. Thursday what day, though, they're saying we're getting like two and a half inches of rain, so that'll be fun. <sighs> what day? Thursday. Oh. But it's also gonna be sixty-eight degrees. Like, oh my gosh! The temperatures going forward, starting yeah, like Sunday, are gonna be day. in the sixties or like seventies. I, I know. have not it's looked. February. Yeah. I hadn't looked either until <laughs> just yeah today. So <laughs> yeah, so crazy. Yeah. But yeah, probably no snow this year, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get like a Man, weird it was, cold snap. it was always nice to have that one day off uh-huh. and, you know, <laughs> right? like, well, I cannot, I can't drive that full hour. There could be some bad mm-hmm. snow in some spot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, and you kind of take like 90 or whatever it is, kind of a back road. Yeah. yeah. I, one place I take is sort of a back road that it, it, I have had to turn around because they had not plowed at all. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, Sandra. Is a lot of places actually apparently got yeah, a little bit of snow. Yeah, fixed it. Hmm. Um, I got a warning on my phone that was like icy conditions, icy and yeah. sleet and that kind of stuff. So yeah. you wish it was forty there; that'd be warm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I believe it. There are lots of places we are. Yeah, yeah. Lucky, I'm lucky, depending on if you like it or not. Yeah, I don't care for it. I like it from inside, but I don't have to be doing anything. Why, hello, Scraggles. What's up? You're What's probably you hungry. Are you hungry? Probably. Are you? Do you need to go pee? She doesn't want to... Is it raining now? I don't know. It says showers. 20 years ago, t- it rained on Saint, around Valentine's Day. Or it snowed on Valentine's Day. I'm not surprised. I mean, yeah. February is usually when it's really cold here. Oh, yeah. Like, that's the cold January, time. January, end of January, February is usually oh, yeah. when it's bad. No, it's going to be uh, warm. Yeah. Real warm, so... We're going to have to go to our um, our special Valentine's Day dinner. Oh, I don't know if we can afford it this year. I don't um, know if... We can we can... get reservations? I mean, I don't want to tell people <laughs> because they're going to be jealous about it. So I'm not Oof. sure we should mention it or not. I know. I know. In the UK, we get rain. It could be said for 358 days of the year. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Are you uh, going to leave them hanging on our special... Oh, uh, yeah. We usually hit up the IHOP for uh, yeah. Valentine's Day. Although, did we? Was it last year we didn't get to go? Because you went to LA and then you we came did, back and were no, sick. Year before. And, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we uh, went last year. Yeah. Oh, Martin here says my post got lost. I'm afraid, so I hope you don't mind if I ask again. It totally got lost. Uh, apart from your lovely sig nibs, do you also grind stubs in cursive italics? Thanks, Martin in the UK. I don't. I mean, the sig itself is a combination of the two, but for us, the only ones that we have are from Mike Masiyama, so he does those. I think most of them are out of stock right now. We're getting a shipment in from him here soon. It's just one of those things that that's why we're out. So I just do yeah. the SIGs and I only work on the FC pens and yeah. he does them exclusively for us. So we're lucky to have him to, to do those. I will yeah. say she uh, uh, does do good stubs and italics, just not like commercially. No. Just I mean, done. if he wants, you know. Just for again, funsies. It's just, you know. I'm going to have her put something on some pens I have because, I mean, like... My uh, my beautiful orange pen. Uh, it just has like a, just a fine, because that was what just was fine. left. I'm surprised that it's a fine that's on. I'm there. surprised the fine le- was left. Yeah, mm. but people bought the broads. They got the because most of them I think took them over and got sigs put on them. It sounds yeah, like. multiple. Yeah, they so, did. Yeah, but that's kind of boring. I got a couple others. Um, Taco Bell. What's up, Beth? <laughs> I don't know what that relates to. 
Uh, oh, Taco yes. Bell is a place that we could go for uh, for Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're going to class it up a little bit more. We're going to go to the IHOP. We really we go to only Taco go there Bell once a, a year. Yeah. We go to Taco Not Bell. Not a, a lot. I mean, don't say a lot. Not as much as I would like, but we go to Taco well, Bell. I actually unironically like Taco Bell, so. And yeah. you're from Texas, so. I, I mean, am. you're okay with it. It's the Texas. closest I can get to Tex Mex. It sort of is <laughs> and on the verge of Tex Mex. It's In true. like a weird way, yeah. Oh, you have four. Wow. Well, thank And go. Interesting. That's cool. Not I many even, people. I've only got one gold sig. Really? Yeah, Which the one? Is double it a, broad. Oh, and that's a gym one or no? You got one of mine, right? Is it? I don't remember. It's just, uh, it's yours. Is it? Yeah, okay. you made that one. Well, thank yeah. you. I knows. Yeah, I get asked a lot if I do on other pens, but no, I only. Oh, that was her on guess at our ones. fancy. That was her guess at our fancy restaurant. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, no, we're a little bit. Like we sit down and like we tip a waiter. Oh, yeah. yeah. There are a bunch of just families sitting there. It's just kids just screaming around us. And we're just sitting there <laughs> hanging out. Yeah, it's usually pretty easy to get a seat. And you, yeah. I don't think we've, we've ever had to wait no. on Valentine's Day. We just go in there uh-huh. and get our pancakes, you know? Uh, lately, I've been getting the uh, the chicken fried steak with pancakes. Okay, yeah. Chicken fried steak I and hash browns. I often go with a, and an omelet uh-huh. and pancakes i see you get a sandwich before which I is have weird that, but i know i don't remember why i got a sandwich you're just feeling it i think i guess i was just feeling it yeah yeah uh, i just recently re-inked this pen and put oh, a new yeah? nib on it this is the birmingham pens uh sixth avenue i think is what I it's think called that's what it is yeah uh when i do a review on this i may have one to give away oh really yeah oh. um uh brownie from the interwebs mm-hmm. got one and he's like i'm never using it you want to you want to give it away for oh, me wow, so so I haven't long. gotten it though, and he left the country, so like I'm not sure when I'll get that. But, oh, uh, yeah, but yeah, the. Uh, oh um, wow! Valentine's Day is on a Friday. Webcast your uh, IHOP date. You guys want to eat pancakes with us on Valentine's Day? That'd be. Uh, <laughs> you think they'd like that at the IHOP? I I mean they're not busy enough. I don't think they're gonna <laughs> care. But... Who's gonna protest? <laughs> After the restaurant wars, all restaurants were Taco Bell. <laughs> yep, that's Demolition Man. <laughs> um, so I actually, I had to clean this one out, not because I ran out of ink, but because uh, it kept drying out. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ink actually in here is a red, and so I was getting some like uh, ink crud. Ink crud. Yeah. Uh, and I was kind of curious why, and then I was looking at the cap, and I think what they need to start doing, I don't know if they watch this or not, but... Um, they need to like put in a lip up here so we seal off this uh, this area. This is a giant cap, and there's air all the way around it. Mm-hmm. And I think it's just it's drying out because of that. Yep, they need, either need an inner liner or they need to put a little little ledge because mm-hmm. you know otherwise it dries out. So I've got that over here in my pen well. Uh, live in a village near. Oh, okay, they're talking about where they are. Better late than never. Hey, Bill, welcome, welcome. Oh, you know what? I gotta make a note. I will say. Yes. I will so you read Sorry, again. it's this. The last few weeks have just been. I haven't even seen Star Wars yet, so like, don't spoil it. But, um, for yeah, you have a good weekend too. I'll be working on nibs and taking some meds. It's been a long couple weeks, huh? Yeah, it has. I mean, we did Christmas stuff, and so that was like, you know running all around and traveling and family and stuff. And then uh, we went to Philly. Well, then school started for me. And then we went to Philly. And we were home for two days. And I went to Knoxville. And then we came home. And it's been... I mean, last night I didn't get home until like 10. Like, well, because you were at a part. I mean, it's not like you were sitting there... Well, at, it wasn't work. It was like a going away yeah. day thing. But, I mean, I was busy, you know, all day. So, you know, it's been it's one of those things. So, like, uh, yeah, sorry, I haven't gotten that done. But I will forward that. Mr. Nose, you don't really need to be back there. He's like, you have not fed me. It is 10.09. I'm going to be annoying. 10.09? I don't know why I said 10.09. Is that what time it is? It feels like because I'm so hungry. No. What kind of pizza you want tonight? I don't know. What are you feeling? I mean, like what I want is buffalo chicken pizza. So you're driving? I don't know. Oh, Brian Chewbacca made it. Brian Chu? What up, Brian Chu? Also oh, we, fashionably late, and not we were, as late as us. Yeah, and Thank we goodness. were sick. Wait, were you sick or was it just me? I was not sick. Yeah, no, it was just me. I was I the have, sick one. I'm going to jinx myself again. I've not been sick this year yet. Yeah, I mean, it's not too far into the year, but it's true. I mean, I consider it... When's the last time I was sick? No, it's been a little while. You've actually been pretty good. Yeah. 
Uh, Frankenfurter is now a Disney princess? What? <laughs> Nobody posted the link in Slack? Oh, I didn't post the link in Slack. Uh... That's right. I was running late. Sorry. Also, Jessie didn't ask if I was having a, 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 a yeah. stream. I hope yeah. she's okay. Her week hasn't ended yet. Uh, Disney ruined Star Wars. I think it does mean princess. I don't. I don't really care. I. Uh, I like. I like what they've done with Star Wars. I like all the Star Wars. I don't. I don't care. I didn't love that one. Oh, uh, Rogue One. Yes, that's yeah, what I, get I it. love. I've watched it a couple of times, and I think it gets I didn't better. I dislike it, yeah. but it just wasn't my favorite. I didn't love that one either. I mean, it was okay, but it was like a Vietnam movie, not a Star Wars movie. Like if you just put that in Nam. I just didn't fine. like any of the characters. I get it. That's why. Oh, Brian didn't love Solo. I get it. Solo okay. was... Okay, yeah. Solo was fine. I had a good time with it. I, I don't know. I'm not yeah. expecting it to change my life, so it's fine. <laughs> it, yeah, it didn't change my life. I didn't d dislike yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. These they're animals. Gonna, they're going to eat us. <laughs> they are. They're going to. Uh, Disney's purchased me and they now own the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, the, oh, that Dr. Frank... Uh, uh, or that Frankenfurter. Uh, yep, that makes sense now. Hi, Nose. Hi. Would you like to be held? Is that what you're up to? This is Mr. Nose. I think... I mean, come on. Those 57 people know Mr. Nose, I'm sure. I know. But, you know. He's a silly cat that likes to lick blinds and lick hands. Yep. And foreheads. Certainly does. I just watched... Oh, yeah, that's right. The first episode of Picard is on YouTube. Yeah. I gotta watch that. We might have to watch that tonight. I've, I've heard about it. You've heard about it? I've heard about it. That it exists? Yep. Yeah. Wish you got off work earlier. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> Uh, always love the oh it wasn't great on episodes one through three well fair enough fair um, enough although I like two which I think is a controversial uh, opinion but yeah apparently like the... people at Philly were buying stickers of Mr. Nose that didn't even know that Mr. Nose true. was our cat <laughs> yep so uh, yeah there were a bunch of people that came by the table and they just saw pictures of this beautiful cat face uh, and they're like oh is this your cat I love this cat I'm like that's my cat and they're like what yep. and I'm like and that's my dog and they're like and you have one of your face? And I'm like, yeah, it's Brian. that's Brian's fault. And like, yeah. point at him. So, sci-fi film you're not hooked on is The Expanse. I keep trying to get into The Expanse, and I I don't know why. I think it's because it's on Amazon. I just kind of fall off of it for some reason. I was, I was really come on, coming up with a joke for that. I couldn't think of it. For The Expanse? Yeah. You found it expendable. I don't know. I was trying to come up with something. <laughs> the story oh. is too expansive. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> So, I uh, just caught that. Oh, about Frank Furrier, yeah. Favorite, uh, <laughs> your new favorite princess? Nice. You'll take the blame for Mike face? I, good. Somebody's got to. <laughs> Somebody's got to. Ooh. Oh, we should have put the Sweet Life uh, Blue Velvet oh, Cake in there. To, um, yeah, you're going to have to swatch it. just swatch it. that right quick. It. Yeah, um, do that. Yeah, where's my... Uh, hmm. And then we'll go eat. And then we'll go eat? Yeah. I'm into that. Okay, me too. What did I do with my coloring cards? Oh, yeah, you got coloring cards as well. I sure did. I just got new ones. The fact that I do with them. <laughs> uh, I think they're in here. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go with Dex. This is a drawer. It's just easier if I just take the whole drawer out. That's a mess. You're a mess. Not as much as that drawer. Well, fair. There we go. I bought more Colodex cards because I ran out. So, and uh, I wasn't sure if anybody would have almost my phone in that drawer. I would never have found it. No, you wouldn't have. <laughs> Why wouldn't I have found it? Because it's a mess. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wasn't sure if anybody would have them at Philly because uh, Anna wasn't going to be there. Desk cam. So, I got more. Did Straight anyone have her. them? I don't even know. Uh, I think John, Lemur Inc. John might have uh, had them. Oh, he might have. I know this. Oh, look at these helpful cats. Would you like to um, move it or lose it? How would you like to move it? He's like, this is my butt area. <laughs> here's, Hello. <laughs> here's my tail and butt. Excuse me, Mr. Nose. <laughs> it's like, what? What? Fall of a cat. Um, oh, this is that blue cashmere. Or, uh, uh, what do you call it? Blue cashmere. Yeah, it's blue cashmere. Purple cashmere. It's it comes off real blue on this camera. Yeah, because it's much more blurple. In yeah, person. this is it is way more purple. That's weird. I thought I had this adjusted pretty well. I was using all these as Not background. Anymore. It didn't work. This is like it's going to be blue. I thought it was going to be like a purple. No, I got it because I thought it was one that we'd like. <laughs> Ooh, it's a blue-black. Look at that. 
that's not working out very well. This is a messy swatch, but what are you going to do? Complain about it. You can just clean it up a little bit. Good enough. Yeah, it's actually a really nice looking blue black. I do like this. Oh, good. I thought it was going to be more like this, which is definitely, let's see if I can see if it looks better here. No, still blue. Weird. Wow. Purple is always a really hard color. Everything looks fine except for this. How does this look? In my nail polish photography, purple is always the hardest. I don't ever have a problem with it in photography, really. Mm. Just these these cameras. With the skin tone, and stuff, it throws everything off. He was going to help me swatch. Yeah, sometimes the cats want to help with that, yep. and uh, that's not cool. I don't really need a blue, whole blue cat. Yeah. Oh, hey, Anna. Bonjour to you as well. Hi. Uh, oh, experiences great. Later years are definitely better than the early ones. All right, well, I'll, uh, maybe I'll push through then because I, I don't know. I read the first book or two, but like the the goo zombies are really not my jam. I'm not that kind of horror fan, so I've been kind of like, I don't know if I want to watch goo zombies. Uh, really interesting philosophies and moralities in Expanse, especially the books. Yeah, I read the first one. I haven't read the rest. It's a little too horror-y for me. I'm not a, the only thing I don't do is zombies and stuff busting out of people. So it's kind of both. Oh, what's on my nails? See, I don't say things because most of the ones I, I wear are limited edition ones. So this one's not available anymore. It's not? It was available for three days. Uh. Um, yeah, it's Polish Pickup. So I can tell you Polish Pickup, all one word. So www.polishpickup.com um, opens up usually the first Friday through Monday of the month. And they have... Oh, it's not up yet, so they haven't loaded next month's polishes yet. But check back again, and they'll have a bunch that are for sale. Usually very cool ones that are available exclusively there for four days. Hmm. So this is a wildflower, wildflower lacquer, I believe. I don't remember the name. Koi Pond, I think is what his name. So it's oh. inspired by a koi pond. So you can see it's that blue and green sort of Tons of like color. flakes. And Lots stuff of flakes in there. Yep. Yeah. Neat. Wow, this, yeah, this blue velvet cake is actually really nice. It's got some like, some sheen on it yep. even. A little bit some of shading. Yeah. Yeah. I dig it. Maybe that, does it show up better on that one? I think this one shows up okay. Yeah. Looks a little bit more... It's a little darker. And yeah, a little, a little darker sheeny. in person, I yeah. think, but not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. So. Well, I didn't do terrible. Good. Um, Ellen Tudyk is fantastic at K2SO and Rogue One. That robot is definitely mm -hmm. the best part of Rogue One. Yeah. I think. I, I agree. I don't even think that's a, I don't even think that's a contentious point. Yeah. He was excellent. Super good. He's got to quit dying in movies is all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, so the first couple of years moves leisurely pays out oh, the... Um, yeah, no, it's like a noir detective story is kind of what's going on in that show. Or that book even, too. All right. It is after six. Yep. It is time for us to go and find food. To go back to work and Cookie get Monster into food. our faces. Yep. You're going to grind nibs? Yep. I'm going to eat food. Well, I'm going to do that, too. Okay. Not at the same time. So I, have I eaten to the... Uh, oh, I had a hot pocket. You did? It was a lean pocket. Oh, so... Lean... I had a protein bar. Yeah. I actually tried to go work out today at the pool. It's been uh, too long since I've been in the pool. And um, the uh, the pool was full of people. So you didn't go swimming? No. There were too many people. There must have been 30 people at the pool. I'm like, I'm not waiting for all of this. Uh, so I left. Yeah. And I fixed our toilet, which went nuts while we were gone. So. Like nothing bad happened. It wasn't like... I mean, I guess it could have, but... Like, it's possible, yeah. I had this weird, like, toilet filling mechanism in there that was, when I went to go to the store, it was, like, the cheapest thing I could find, apparently. Well, it sounds like it's you. Yeah, no, yeah. it's on me. And um, it was just, uh, it was running water, just constantly, like, very loudly, so. Anyway, whatever. I replaced the toilet seat, I replaced toilet guts, and uh, I, I earned my lean pocket, yeah. so. Anyway. These people need to fall off of their, uh, their New Year's resolutions so I can get back in the pool. Right. That, I mean, that is part of it. Like, yeah. Like, look, I don't want to. Like, I'm not voting for them to fail or whatever. But also, yeah, you get out are of the pool. obviously. <laughs> get like, out of the pool. I don't want them to continue going. Yeah. Yeah. All right, folks. Uh, <clears throat> okay, folks. <laughs> uh, yeah, the chat stopped again. I don't know yeah, what's going I on. Yeah, I know. The chat. That's why I'm saying I'm looking over there. Yeah. 
Uh, have a great weekend. You can still email me about the getting on the list. So I don't. So like, here's the thing about the like the list for the orange and teal. Uh, uh, Frank, Frank and Kristoff, there's not like an official waiting list. Like, don't get that idea. I don't know how no. many I'm going to have. No. I don't I, know, like, don't what know. the best way is to get them to people. But if you want to email, then I will put you on, like, a list of, like, interested people. So I have some kind of idea. Uh, but, like, don't think it's, like, a waiting list. You're not you're not giving me money yet. None of that. So, yeah. uh, but, it, like, if you're interested, let me know. So I kind of, maybe I can judge that. But I don't know how many I'm getting. So we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, sure. You can email for sure. Um, all right. That's it. Uh, we're going to enjoy some pizza. Yeah. Mr. Nose says, I'm a pest. Those were my jeans that well, he was. That's what he does with his claws. holes in them now. Yeah? Cool. Uh, so this is Mr. Nose. He says goodbye. Audrey? I say goodbye just like Nose. Awesome. Stay here, bud. That's a good boy. He's like, oh, yeah, this is okay. I'll be held like this. Oh, it's super bright? Okay, cool. Yeah, it's fine. I'll squint my cat eyes. All right, we'll see y'all later. Have a good weekend.